Hello again and welcome back to my playthrough of Blood and Wine. We are here in uh, this Professor Moreau's laboratory. We're doing this turn and face the strange quest for uh, Yennefer. She's the one who sent us here. And uh, we've learned that this Moreau guy had a son who was taken away to be a witcher. And he did not like that. So he somehow got his son to come back and tried to do tests to see if he could reverse the Witcher mutations, and it didn't work. And not only did it not work, it instead um, made the mutations even stronger. So now Geralt's interested. Um, let's see here. Geralt soon discovered not only he... Oh, okay, I already read that part. As unlikely as it sounds, Geralt found the entrance to Professor Moreau's laboratory in the sunken elven ruins of Dal Navda. Things seemed to be getting more and more interesting, so the Witcher did not hesitate to plunge onward. His path was riddled with traps and other such obstacles, but our brave hero had much experience in running even more difficult gauntlets. Tired in both mind and spirit from his efforts, in the end he made it to the professor's lab, and that's where we are now. Apparently, uh, this Moreau guy used mutated giant centipede albumens for his tests, and that is what we are to do now. If we look at where that is on the map, it shows up here. I don't know if this is underground. I guess what we're looking for is underground and not above ground, so. I'm gonna try to figure it out. Um, in here, if I could get into this, there's like a, a hole in the wall in there. And we could probably sneak through here to try to find this. It's probably where we're supposed to go, but let me just make sure that there's not something else out here that I have not explored yet. Oops, what are you stuck on, Geralt? Okay, this is a dead end. There's nothing here. There's a crystal there, but it's out of power, I believe. We already examined that on the wall. Uh, I think we're good. I think we could move on. Yep, this is where we came in. Okay. So we're going to go into this little uh, cell here and uh, sneak through the wall here, squeeze through, and um, we'll see if we can't find a giant centipede albumen. Alright, let's go ahead and put some insectoid oil on our sword, help ourselves out as much as possible. So, we got ourselves a giant, oh, Pale Widow. Ouch. Okay. Not liking the way this is looking right off here. Well, did some damage. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Talk on it. Now I gotta repair my weapon. Hold on. Hold everything. Gotta repair the weapon. Get out our journeyman's weapon repair kit. Slap that on there. Ah. These things are really annoying to fight because of how they... Let's, let's, let's get out of this little enclosed area. Oh, another one. Oh, great. Get a little couple of hits there. Uh, who comes up first? Who wants some of this? You good, sir. Oh, madam. Oh, gonna curl up. Can't hit them when they're curled up. Keep my Quinn up. Okay, one dead. Nasty. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, need your eggs. Ouch. Oh, curled up. Get my plan up. Come on, pop up. Come on now. Come on. Oh, doggone. Take a couple hits. And that pale widow's dead. Die already. <laughs> that was quite a cry. Well, let's look at the uh, bestiary for these things. Uh, pale widows. Never have I seen such a creature. It was like a giant centipede, but white, utterly white. Account of Dr. Vittorius de la Vega after the first encounter with the pale widow. This rare variety of giant centipede dwells in underground lairs and owes its name to its unusual pale white coloring. Like the more common giant centipede, its body is covered in hard chitinous armor with numerous hooked limbs sticking out from underneath. 
Some scholars raise these creatures in laboratory conditions for the properties of their albumin, which makes an excellent base for the brewing of mutagenic potions. And we used insectoid oil against it. We did not use Eardin, though. I was too busy using Quen. Acquire mutated giant centipede albumin. Well, we have some discharge here. Yeah. Okay. Um, do I need to kill more of these things? Gulp. Probably have to kill some more of these things, don't I? All right, here's another one. Chop, chop, choppity, chop. Okay, come on, pop back up. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Ouch. All right. Somehow my coin is still up. I thought it hit me. Ah. You don't want to scare him away. Oh, quit it. What do you think? This is a game? Alright, that one's dead. Gosh, those things are nasty. Ugh, look at all those legs twitching. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Uh, this looks promising over here. Loot. Mutated giant centipede albumen. Well, we got some. I'm gonna get a little bit more for security's sake. Place the mutated giant centipede albumen in Professor Moreau's contraption and start the machinery. Okay, if I have to. Um, this probably isn't the right way to go, is it? Or is it? We have to figure out how to get back to his lab. Huh, look at this. There's a crack in the wall here. Can I break through it? Let's bring up our art and see. Oh, nice. Shortcut. That's a long way down. Nothing Geralt can't handle, though. I keep hearing sounds. I imagine you hear them as well. So. Machinery. Um, where am I placing this? Not obvious to me where I'm supposed to put this. Here we go. This looks good. Uh, yeah, let's put mutated giant centipede albumin in here. Sure. Get undressed and activate Moreau's contraption. You get undressed. Fine, I'll get undressed. There we go. I'm undressed. Activate Moreau's contraption. Oh. Ah, I'm not liking this. Let's um, take a little bit of health here. Alright, we got full health. Use. I'm going in wearing full gear. Gotta drop my armor, leave my weapons. Leave my weapons? You crazy Geralt. All right, there. How's that? Is that better? That ought to do it. mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. Jeez, I don't know if you're brave or stupid, Geralt. You just step in there. How you feeling, Geralt? You all right, man? I did not like that sound. Leave Professor Moreau's laboratory. Uh, not without my armor. Uh, so this is our uh, Griffin Silver Sword, which I guess is what I've been using. Griffin Steel Sword. And armor. 
Here is our feline armor. And we'll go ahead and re-equip re -re this stuff. Where's my death from above? There we go. Equip that. There we go. That'll work. Geralt is ready for battle now. Leave the laboratory. Well, you know we gotta run into that dude who got here before us. Cell for portals. Feels dead. Maybe a sign will revive it. Maybe Ard? Good old Ard. Always good for reviving power cells. So, is there any new text for this quest right now? Searching Professor Burrow's lab gave Geralt a somewhat expanded view of the professor's past and his research. It seemed Moreau's goal had not been to discover how to strengthen the Witcher mutations, but just the opposite, how to reverse them so he could cure his son Jerome of being a Witcher. To Geralt's delight, the professor's plan failed to achieve its desired result. This failure could be of use to the Witcher, however, however, for by mixing the professor's secret formula into his bloodstream, he gained access to a whole range of new mutations. These promised to make him stronger, faster, more resilient, in short, better. Geralt looked forward to putting them to the test in combat. Okay, uh, what'd we get? Look at my character screen. I'm not seeing anything new here. Oh, oh, whoa, that's new. Whoa, what the mother? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my. Look at this stuff. This is cool. So was the game going to teach me this stuff? Or was I just supposed to come in here on my own and find it out? Um, wow. We could research these mutations. Alright, let's go ahead and leave this place. And we'll give... Excuse me, game. We'll give the game a chance to explain it to us. Let's see if it does. I don't know, man. I'm just supposed to figure that out on my own? What the... Oh yeah, that's right. We're underwater. Well, that will complete the quest, turn and face the strange. So, so much for the game telling me about these new mutations. Holy cow, look at that beautiful view. It is beautiful. All right, let's swim to the shore. And then we'll take a look at some of these new mutations we've got. See if we can make any sense out of them. It's a beautiful night for a swim, wouldn't you agree? Beautiful. Man, what a great looking game. Man, they, they just, they really nailed it. That is just beautiful. I know I've said that several times already. Oh, there's an enemy over in uh, that direction, but they can wait. Let's look at our character screen again. We'll go in here. So, magic sensibilities. Signs can deal critical hits. Their critical hit chance and damage increase with sign intensity. Currently 41% chance to deal an additional 208% damage. Opponents killed by critical hits from signs explode. So if I guess that's what we will obtain if we research this mutation. Required ability points. I have to use my ability points for this? Oh, that sucks. That, uh, that kind of sucks. And then, um, whoa. Greater blue mutagen. Okay, so we need some greater blue mutagens and we need ability points if we want to research that. Deadly counter. Sword attacks deal 25% more damage to human opponents immune to counter attacks and monsters. In all other cases, if the attacker's vitality is less than 25%, a counter attack immediately triggers a finisher. Good lord. Uh, allows use of combat. Okay. Allows use of signs, allows use of combat, and then we have toxic blood. Each time you are injured in melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the amount of 1.5% of damage dealt for every point of your toxicity level. What? Receives damage in the amount of 1.5% of damage dealt for every point of your toxicity level. Alright. Um, I don't know, man. 
do I want to do this stuff? Is this something that I really want to spend my ability points on? I mean, ability points are hard to come by. I don't know, man. All right. Well, um, I, I tell you what, I'm going to leave it to you guys to uh, tell me if I should be doing any of this stuff. Of course, I'll do a little bit of research on my own, too. So I'm going to save those three ability points I've got right now until I decide what to do. Oh, it's a, it's a bear. Hello, bear. I'll tell you what, you stay over there, I'll stay over here, and we'll get along just fine. So we completed that quest for Yennefer, and now we have to decide what it is that we want to do. There does not appear to be a fast travel marker anywhere around here. Well, I guess that one's not too far away. Um, what if uh, we just kind of ran over here? I don't, I don't want to get back into the main story just yet. Uh, so especially with so many undiscovered locations around here. So let's go ahead and um, just uh, say hi to uh, this undiscovered That's location it, over here. Can we run along the coast here? There's some drowners or something. They're not what I've come here to fight. So see you later. Bye, guys. Guy on a horse. Greetings to you, good sir. So, what are we going to find over here? Get close. Not so fast, Roach. Hop off a roach. I'd like to walk up on foot. See what I'm up against. Question mark. Huh. Vintner's contract. We got another one of these. Yeah. You're going to leave stuff just sitting around. I'm going to loot it. I mean, look at this. Excuse me, worker. Uh, I've sweat dripping down my bum furrow. Okay, well, that's good to know. Where is this guy? This contract ah, dude. What's your flim it's made its lair there. It's swallowed, fill and hole. Hmm, something afoot in that cave. Are all of these vintners' contracts pretty much the same thing? Uh, well, there, sir. I guess those swords on your back aren't there as festoons. Not really. Maybe you could help me. Maybe. Depends. Well, there's a cave that, to my mind, would be splendid for aging wine. Not over dry, and none too moist. But? Well, damn thing's full of noise. The arse-clenching sort. Clinkety, bangity, knockety kind. Sent McClark in to see been two days, and he's not back. I reckon it's ought to do with the elven ruins. Blah. <laughs> that about the cave. So... Lend us a hand, will you? How much you gonna pay me? Could help, provided you can pay. Can you pay me this much? Whoa, mate. Can't possibly pay you that much. Oh, really? There's really not that much of a difference between 200 and 273. Mm, yes, we're almost there. Mm, yes, we're almost there. <laughs> I like the way he says that. I mean, really. Agreed. Oh, that was worth all the trouble for 12 extra coin. Fine. I'll have a look in the cave, see what lurks there. Okay, here we go again with another Vintner's contract. Proceeding on his way, Geralt encountered one in need, as he had many times before. I must emphasize that, though ostensibly cool and aloof, the Witcher, in fact, has a heart of gold. Thus, none should wonder that he agreed to help the anxious Vintner, for a modest fee, of course, kill the monsters which have infested the grotto. Alright, here we go. Let's go kill some monsters. Gosh, that's all Geralt ever does. Kill this monster, kill that monster. Loot innocent people's stuff. Day in the life. Come evening, I'm off to the hells, quick as a flash. Those girls can't wait to see me. Where are your pants, dude? How come you're not wearing any pants? Gray Grotto in the Caraberto Woods. What are we going to face in here? I'm sure it will be something just lovely and cuddly. Gargoyle. Hello, Gargoyle. How are you? 
Well, here's a gargoyle. Uh, so let's fight him. Uh, let's go ahead and put a little bit of elemental oil on our sword, shall we? Bling! Oh, I got that picked. I don't know. I wanted to do Quinn. Get a little bit of Quinn up. Keep your Quinn up. Oh, why don't I just stand here and let him hit me? Quinn. Get greedy. Whoa. That was weird. Alright, took out the gargoyle. Loot. Uh, there's a body here. Loot. Eh, just got some stuff on it. Not that exciting. So, we took out a gargoyle. Is the gargoyle one of the monsters that have infected this place? Or is he just kind of hanging out here? Some chests down here that aren't really containing anything all that exciting or interesting, I must say. There's another gargoyle down here. Hey, dude, what's up? Okay, that was weird. Where's his health bar? There it is. Quinn. What do you got? Oh, scary. And time to repair our sword again. That yeah, makes sense. We're sitting here beating on stone with our silver sword. It's no surprise that it would need to be sharpened every now and again. Oh, that was it. Ha 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 ha. That was easy. Easy money. Good thing, too, because it really isn't paying all that much. Let's face it. Whoa. Okay. That's just water. I thought it was uh, a big pit. It is not a pit. And yes, I saw the uh, vein of whatever that was over there. Oh, here's a ladder. Alright. Let us get out of here and uh, complete this very simple, very easy contract. That's Gwent would be the end of me. Is it done? Uh, it's done. Now. Did you manage it? Yeah. All taken care of. Ha! <laughs> and four call witches lay about some freeloaders. Bollocks! Storehouse will be ready in two days at most. And here on in, you've cut rate prices on all my goods. You're not from here, are you? Not from around here, are you? Nay, from Povis we are. Wandered south for the climb before the first war. Chills up north were giving me wifey lumbago. Hmm. All right. What you got for sale? What you got on offer? Wouldn't mind a glance. And it's a bunch of crap. Why in the world would I want to buy this stuff? Right? Why would I want to? And, uh, he doesn't seem to be too keen on buying anything from us, and there's really no reason to sell any of this stuff. It doesn't weigh anything. It just takes up slots, so... No reason. Goodbye. So long. You take care now. Well, we completed this Vintner's contract, and there was much rejoicing. Hey, let's look at our map. And, um, let's go ahead and, let's see here. How do we want to do this? Um, maybe go here? Sounds good to me. Call Roach. Hop on Roach. Roach. And we will take Roach for a little late night spin. You hear the wolves howling in the distance. All right, we're getting close. Oh, what is this? Bandits? There's a lot of something up ahead. What is it? Oh, it's bandits. Yep, it's bandits. It's 
switch back to this, put a little bit of Hanged Man's Venom on our steel weapon to deal as much damage as we possibly can. Switch to Igni because I like to catch these jerks on fire. And you're on fire. Do not shoot me with bows. Oh, here's a beehive here. Uh, Geralt, you can cast when I tell you to, please. I guess I didn't have enough stamina. You son of a... You and your stupid... Bow. Such great satisfaction. Chop his freaking head right off. Come on. Come on over here, I dare you. Come on, get closer. <laughs> they dead? No, nope, not yet. Now he's dead. One more still over here. Oh, you son of a gun. There. <laughs> uh, knocked that out of the park. I caught the beehive on fire. I looted it, got some honeycomb. Loot. And, oh, there's a body here. Adjunct Philip Boritz notes. And a baguette with fish pate. Let's read his notes. First day of the month of Burke. The very first day, and I already regret agreeing to participate in this expedition. The journey itself will take eight weeks. Besides, I do not believe anyone from Isabel Ducamp's lost expedition remains alive. It has been years. Professor Ivor has taken a hearty supply of egg salad sandwiches with him for the road. A few stages are glued together by some sticky substance, probably mayonnaise. Fourteenth day of the month of Blathe. We have arrived! Professor Ivor gave the order to pitch camp near the ruins of Termis, the place where the missing group led by Professor Ducamp was supposed to carry out its excavations. Then we drank two bottles of wine and went to sleep. Sixteenth day of the month of Blathe. The Termis Palace ruins. The very thought of them sends shivers down my spine. Nevertheless, I believe we should begin our search in the ruins themselves. Yet the professor keeps beating around the bush and spends most of his time curled up with a bottle. My suggestion to head deeper into the woods and look for signs of the expedition was shrugged off with a comment about my impertinence and an accusation of trying to take over leadership of the expedition. Eighteenth day. The professor has perished. He departed yesterday morning, and had not returned to camp by evening. We shall soon set out to look for him. Perhaps that drunkard finally dared visit the ruins? Looty loot loot. We're gonna do some looting. Okay, here's Professor Noel Ivor, Ivor's journal, and a diagram, and a bunch of other stuff. Holy cow. Uh, we've already read these books. We do not need to read them again. We've already read these books. Let us read his journal. Journal has been kept chaotically, full of stains, blots, and incomprehensible scribblings, and the entries are not dated. Every day I regret what I said then. How could I have been so foolish? Why did I not, why did I not agree to become her assistant? Fie upon you, base ambition. Oh, Isabel, forgive me. Enough inaction. I'm off to Beauclair. If I find you alive, Isabel, I will fall to my knees and plead forgiveness. And if... if you're gone... Enough of this wallowing in self-pity. Time to get to work. I've chosen the most talented and hardworking of my students. And for my assistant, I have named my most clever adjunct, Philip Brut. The, Ac the Academy Chancellery has accepted the plan for our expedition. We need but collect our equipment, then hit the road. Unbelievable. Philip had the audacity to point out to me that eating egg salad sandwiches while traveling in a closed carriage is poor manners. What arrogance! And to think I prized him above all my adjuncts. I could, I could not have imagined a worse start to our eight-week journey. 
A few pages are stuck together by some sticky substance. Mayonnaise? We have arrived. I fear entering these ruins. I fear what I shall find there. I think I lack the strength to face the truth. That impertinent upstart Philip Burrut is driving me completely mad. He's accused me of idleness and indecision. How dare he hurl such insults in the presence of the other members of our expedition. He does not understand who my beloved Isabel was, who she is to me. I, I do not wish to. I cannot face the truth. I'm off alone at the moment, for I do not wish them to see me when I find. I will begin by searching the ruins of the temple abutting the river. All right. Well, that did not open a new quest for us. I thought it might, but it did not. Let's go ahead and loot these losers. Stupid bandits. Bandits are scum. They're scum, I tell you. Hello? Alright, cleared those guys up. I don't know what these ruins are these guys are talking about. I don't... Could be down the road. I'm not sure. Picking it up, because that's what I do. Alright, let's look at our map again. Well, maybe these are the ruins that they spoke of. So let's go here. It's not too far. I will leave um, Roach here. Let's go. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm going to meditate. I want to meditate till meditate till morning, so I can see what the heck I'm doing. I don't like how dark it is out here. There we go. Now I can see. Well, these are looking pretty ruiny. What are we going to find? Yeah, well, Termi's place ruins. Was it place or palace? Deer over there. Uh, it looks like there's a cave entrance over here, maybe. Let's see. Yep, here we go. Oh! Well, it is Termi's palace. Lots of wolves howling off in the distance. Well. We have found a purple portal. Shall we enter? Use. No items in inventory that can be placed here. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, apparently we need to find something that we can place here that will allow us passage through that. Huh. Well, I have to hope that at some point... Uh, hello. At some point in the game, um, we'll find what we need. And then we'll come back here. Unless it's laying right around here somewhere. See what's up here. Oh, here we go. Well, some dead bodies. Those uh, animals are getting a little close. Man, these uh, these bodies have been picked clean, man. Here's one that we could uh, look at. Skull and some florins. Amateurs repair kits. Boy, there are animals all over these woods. I'm gonna keep looking and see if we could find whatever it is we need to get into that portal. Okay, we found a marker. Let's look at our map and check out this marker. 
Toussaint was once a land of elves. The Ducal Palace is the most prominent remnant of that era, but it is not the only. The Einside left behind a great many smaller and larger structures, whose function can today only be guessed at. An example of this are the Termes Palace ruins, which some tie to the legendary resting place of the last elven king, while others consider them a temple to some forgotten deity. What they were in truth, we shall never know. Well, I'm going to keep looking around. Excuse me. I'm not going to jump down there. We are instead going to go up here. Ooh. Should draw from it. Yeah, should draw from it. It's loud. It's not a fire. Uh, some blinders, ingots, more repair kits. Oh, come on. Got it. Oh, how big is this place? Um. Where is this place of power? It's acting like it's right here. Down beneath us or something? I don't know where it is. Huh. I don't know, man. Where the heck is it? Down here, I guess. Uh, through the waterfall, maybe. Neat. Never know when you might need some nostrisks. Nostrix. Here's a box. Copper chain, vest, mug, vodka, cordial. Loot, silver in a shell, silver sapphire ring, and let us get our art out, and we're going to bash through this wall here. Boom! Alright, well, here's the place of power. Let's see what we get. We've gained an ability point, and our um, Quen sign has increased. And it's just some stupid boots. Huh. Okay then. Well, that um, portal-like thing that we saw before remains a mystery. So, yeah. Uh, if the item we need is here in this palace ruins, I have failed to find it. So if I missed it, let me know. But if it's something I will find later, um, I don't know. You, you can say you could say that, but don't tell me where. Let me find it on my own. Scholars pitched camp here. Should look around. Okay. Well, this is a good sign. Oh, oh no, this is for the woven gear thing. Well, sure. Uh, let's search their campsite since we're here. Why not, right? What the heck? What makes that noise? Did you hear that? That was a weird noise. A noise unlike any other noise I'd heard in the game thus far. I don't know what that was. Yeah, some stuff here. Ooh, here we go. This looks pretty promising. Isabel Ducamp's journal. I may have called her Isabella before. I don't know. Let's read her journal. You're so nosy, Geralt. Logbook of the archaeological expedition under the guidance of Isabel Ducamp. Our excavation is underwritten by Oxenfurt Academy. 
Its goal is to study the ancient elven ruins at Termis and subsequently locate and find a way into the underground chambers beneath them using the purple ruby of Eidginvale. I guess that's what we need, this purple ruby. March 26th. We have arrived in Toussaint, one of the many trifling little realms in the Nilfgaardian Empire. Our journey took place without incident. Illegible fragment. March 27th. Master Tyensale, a local elf, advised us against entering the ruins. As a precaution, we have hired a witcher. April 12th. We have pitched camp and conducted preliminary reconnaissance. April 16th. Illegible fragment. And the quarreling continues. The witcher advises us to end the expedition, and someone has yet again brought up that a canard without oh brought up that canard about an ancient curse april 20th the entrance to the underground chambers is indeed protected by a barrier we must await the witcher's return he is to use the purple ruby to dun 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 we don't know they were scholars should have guessed the passages inside were blocked for a reason yes yeah, scholars didn't try to go in there without a witcher Find the entrance to the chambers under the ruins. Well, I already found the entrance. Did I pick up the ruby without noticing it? Quest items. Anything new down here? Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, what's this? An agate. I had that already, though. I'm pretty sure I did. Pretty sure I remember seeing that when I looked through here before. So, it just says find the entrance. And, um... That entrance is uh, right up here where we just were a moment ago. I mean, I don't know. Should I go back to it? I mean, considering that I don't know how to get in it, maybe when I go this time, Geralt will say something and maybe it will forward the quest along. Let's go try it. Another pack over here that I could search. A chest. Does not contain what I'm searching for. Alright. So the dotted line has taken me around this way, so this is the way I am going to go. Oh. Wolves. Or wargs or something. I don't want to fight them. Okay, here we are. Magic barrier. Got a bad feeling, damn it. Here we go. Find the key that opens the barrier in the passage to the underground chambers. Huh. Um. So, the little circle is, uh, right around here. Huh. Look at about the circle on my minimap. Hey, look at this. George Herbert's letter. Let us read it. Dear Hadawiga. Whoa, what a name. You were absolutely correct to advise against this journey. Why did the Dean of Archaeologist... Ar really? Archaeologist? Why did the Dean of Archaeology entrust its leadership to the hands of this quadroon? Who found the Violet Ruby of Ed Ginville, me or her? You must know the Witcher has returned after all. The Ruby removed the barrier, as I held it would from the start, and allowed him to explore the interior. Can you believe the Witcher almost convinced that Dukamp to return to town to hire additional guards? We don't know what dangers are in store for us. Now there's someone who knows how to pad his billable hours. <laughs> Ducamp took to the idea, recalling the tale about the tomb being cursed. Yet I convinced the company not to put any stock in fairy tales. We must hurry, I said, for what if someone beats us to it and robs the elven treasury first? Because as you know, according to my translation, the most precious can only mean one thing. The, mo the lost treasure of King Divithaf. Stu soon it shall be ours. Bloodstains. Later addendum partly obscured by bloodstains. The Witcher was right. 
We should never have gone in there. That is an accursed place. I barely managed to escape, crawl out, and take the ruby. The portal is closed. I am safe. But the others... I left them behind. Loot. And there's the ruby. Oh, we didn't have to go far for that. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, open the entrance to the chambers. Sure, why not? We're here. Why, why do later what you could do now? Explore the chambers under the ruins. Well... see something uh Quinn Geralt Geralt are you oh not Quinn you're um what alright why am I using fists that just tries me insane okay now I got my weapon out get down that stupid level 40 wraith without much trouble come here come on I see ya peace kick Take it down rates left and right. Not a problem for old Geralt. Not a problem. He's got his torch out. I wonder how come sometimes he gets out a torch and sometimes he doesn't. Locked. What's in here now? A Bargast? Yep. Bring it on. Ouch. Eh, no problem. No problem. Look at this. I like them apples. Uh, we could go that way. That goes nowhere. I see something in there. Hmm. I'm afraid I'm gonna like walk forward and drop off of a cliff. Whoa! Okay. It's centipede fighting time. Time for the insectoid. Insectoid? Insectoid oil. And uh, a little bit of. Quinn. Ouch. Damn you, centipede! Alright, I got my Quinn up. Come on. Come on. It's just a matter of time. Oh, I hate it when it does that. Alright, let's let it have its fun. No. Okay. He's back. Ow. Oh, he's gone. Quinn. Ouch. Show me what you got. Okay, we killed that guy. Keep on moving. Don't stop. A little bit of health, top off our health. Here's a chest over here, it looks like. Let's see what's inside of it. Get some stuff we may never use. That's where we came from. Um. Lots of enemies. Look at my mini-map. But, um, the circle is still in this area, though. I don't know. Let's go. Oh, I got a wraith here. And a Vargast. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this place. You guys need to chill. You guys need to chill. Did right, we get them all? I think we did. Not bad. According to my mini-map, there's still trouble down here, though. Some uh, strange sound effects. Gotta pick up all these mutagens. We may need them. 
Still some more over here. We'll go grab these. Um, holy cow, this place is uh, starting to look uh, big. Oh, what's this? Examine. Epitaph. King Divithaph. Here lies our father. He died so that others may live. And they said we'd never know what the ki these ruins were for. Another chest here. Pick up somebody's trousers. What's with the scary sound effects? It's probably that place of power we're nearby. Probably what we're hearing. Oh, look at this. Loot. Old elven key. We used the key to unlock this door. Before we go through it... I just want to see what's over here. What's this? Huh. Something to uh, inspect in the next room. But I haven't gone into this room yet, so I just wanted to take a quick look. A Witcher brought the ceiling down to bury his foes. Ended up burying himself, too. Oh, okay. Well, here are the diagrams. We found three of them. We are still exploring the ruins. I saw something else here, I thought. Pick up that stuff. Alright, let's see what else is down here. So Geralt thinks that the Witcher took the ceiling down, but ended up killing himself in the process. So this is the way we came in. We broke our way through that wall. So we're still exploring these uh, chambers. I don't know what it is we're looking for. I mean, this is where we came in. So... What is it we're looking for here? Explore the chambers. That's what I'm doing. Ah! Satchel looks like it belonged to a witcher. What do you know? Here's the rest of the diagrams and Adana of Carrera's journal. Suppose I shouldn't be surprised Master Tiensel asks such a steep price to forge Grandmaster armor. No other craftsman in the world's his equal. I tried to tell wise old Vesemir, we know him, what he gave me would barely be enough for one silver sword. Trekked halfway across the world to get here from Kaer Morin and for what? Eh, gonna have to look around for some work. Later addendum. Today, Tian Cell introduced me to the leader of an arch illegible fragment, but in the end, we reached a deal. Checked the area out, and it seems calm enough, though my medallion did buzz in a few spots near the ruins. That's why I told them to pitch camp a bit further away from the main entrance. Who the blazes knows what might be living inside? They've also mentioned something about a curse, so guess I should expect wraiths, bargusts maybe? Damn it, should have asked for more. Tomorrow we start exploring. And now we know the fate of Adana of Carreras. And we have gotten all of the woven armor diagrams. That's pretty exciting. And that completes the Grandmaster Woven quest. Ta-da! Alright! Awesome! Well, 
I think that's a good place to stop. We will end this episode here. When we come back next time, I don't see any reason why we wouldn't run down here to this undiscovered location. And then maybe run over to this one. And um, then we'll see what happens after that. I am always open to suggestions as to what you would like to see me do. So if you have a request or a suggestion, something I'm not doing, something I should be doing, something I've missed, let me know in the comments, but no spoilers, please. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this play session. If you enjoyed it, won't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment. And if you're not a subscriber, won't you please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure do hope you join me again in the next episode.